read the directions, and directly you'll be directed in the right direction. <laughs> Drink me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the crazy and colorful Disney movies that had us questioning what we were watching. Come with me. Your friends can stay here. We'll be including both live action and animated features. Number 10. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> Kind of jumpy, aren't you, Valiant? It's just Dumbo. It was always a weird concept to have live action and animated characters interacting on screen, but Disney audiences embrace the art form. Think classics like Mary Poppins, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, or Pete's Dragon. However, unlike its predecessors, Who Framed Roger Rabbit acknowledges that half of the cast are cartoons and actually builds the plot around it. You don't know how hard it is being a man looking at a woman looking the way you do. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way." Set in an alternative version of the Golden Age of Hollywood, the movie depicts humans and toons as coexisting factions, with adult problems and prejudices. It's all a bit of sensory overload, and the bad guy is the stuff of nightmares. Remember me, Eddie? When I kill your brother, I talk! Just wait! Number 9. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad The Wind in the Willows and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow aren't exactly a match made in heaven. Nevertheless, back in the 40s, someone thought to pair them up and make a kid's movie. It's not a crossover, just a double feature, but still an unusual combo. You see, Toad was far too clever and at the moment completely mad. The Mr. Toad segment comes first, narrated by the classic British actor Basil Rathbone. It definitely has its moments, but it doesn't prepare you for what comes next. <laughs> In Sleepy Hollow, scares and silliness abound as the Headless Horseman rides out. The specter's high-pitched laugh is especially unnerving, but never fear, there are songs from Bing Crosby to lighten the mood. He swears to the longest day he's dead, he'd show them that he can get ahead. Number 8. Make Mine Music Like Fantasia, Make Mine Music is a collection of unconnected short films set to music. Disney did a lot of this kind of thing in the 1940s, as most of the studio staff had been drafted into the war effort. Oh, Peter, what a hero! You too, Ivan. Everybody's happy, except the wolf. The individual stories in the anthology are a bizarre selection. From classical ballet to teenagers at the malt shop to a high-stakes baseball game to two hats who fall in love, there doesn't seem to be any underlying point. Johnny would serenade Alice to relay, to rely, to relu. It's fun, though, and the animation is clever and colorful. The final story is The Pièce de Résistance, a tragic tale of an operatic whale. It's as surreal as it sounds, but also genuinely heartbreaking. Number 7. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh This collection of charming tales isn't too strange at first glance. We say hello again to our favorite cuddly characters as three featurettes come together in one grand narrative. Now, obviously, this situation calls for an expert. Somebody call for an excavation expert? I'm not in the book, but I'm at your service. The movie features several weird meta moments like gophers, or when the narrator gets involved to help out a character in trouble. Hey, who are you? I'm the narrator. Oh, well, please, for goodness sakes, narrate me down from here. Very well. Hold on tight. And who could forget the heffalumps and woozle sequence? That wasn't meta so much as it was just insane. These smiling, psychedelic creatures are Pooh's biggest fear, and they terrified us too, although it's hard to say why. The accompanying song was written by the Sherman Brothers, who are also responsible for the It's a Small World theme song. So things are making sense. They come in ones and twosles, but if they act so twosles, before your eyes you'll see them multiply. Blah, blah, blah. Number 6. The Shaggy D.A. Disney's 1959 movie The Shaggy Dog tells the story of a boy who's cursed by an ancient ring, which causes him to transform into an old English sheepdog. 
Weird though it was, the audience rolled with it, and the film's success spawned a sequel, 17 years later. You're getting a little gray, Dad. Yeah. Fellow citizens. <gasps> no! In The Shaggy D.A., the protagonist, Wilby, is all grown up. He's also practicing law and taking on corruption in the government. Come election day, you can vote those people out of office and bring back respectability to this community. Oh, thank you, Mr. Daniels. The special effects are memorable, to say the least, especially the dog transformations, which are a joy to behold. This madcap adventure is delightfully random and filled with hilarious set pieces that will make you question your sanity. It's loads of fun, though. Why didn't you tell me you could skate? Boy, this is a real showstopper. A dog that talks and sings, skates, drives. Number 5. The Black Cauldron Based on the Chronicles of Prydain novels and steeped in Welsh mythology, The Black Cauldron is one of Disney's darkest animated films. It's also totally bizarre. Troubled thoughts may on your heart. Pray you now, those thoughts in part. For one thing, the entire plot revolves around a pig who has visions. Then there's the terrifying Horned King, who plans to take over the world by capturing said pig and harnessing her powers. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time has arrived. There's something about the 80s style of animation, combined with the medieval fantasy setting that creates a real sense of unease. The characters and the storyline are unpredictable. And what is Gurgi actually supposed to be? You're charming. And pungent, too. Number 4. Fantasia In which Disney film can you find mushrooms, hippos, broomsticks, and evil spirits all dancing to a soundtrack of classical music? It's Fantasia, of course. So our picture opens with a series of impressions of the conductor and the players. Then the music begins to suggest other things to your imagination. The 1940 anthology film has dazzled and terrified children for decades, and we couldn't omit it from this list. Segments featuring fairies and centaurs are an explosion of color and creativity, but sometimes the epic scale of the music takes the animation to a darker place. The most famous sequence, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, features everyone's favorite mouse, but has a real sense of threat and the night on Bald Mountain is nothing short of horrifying. Then there's Fantasia 2000, a fitting homage to the original with equal fever dream potential. Number 3. The Brave Little Toaster Franchise A toaster, a radio, a lampstand, an electric blanket, and a vacuum cleaner set out on an adventure to find their missing owner. Does this sound like the plot of a Disney movie or a nonsensical dream you once had? Somebody tell me that fate has been kind. You can't go while you are out of your mind. If that wasn't strange enough, there's also The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. In the sequel, all our favorite appliances travel into space after their little master, as they refer to him, is accidentally transported to the Red Planet. Are you telling us that you can actually come up with a way to get us to Mars? <laughs> of course! Going to Mars is easy! The club med in Cancun this time of year would take some wrangling. There, the gang meet an army of discarded items under the command of a giant fridge, who is planning to blow up the Earth. It all made sense when you were a kid. Oh, don't waste time reattaching me to the ceiling. Just leave me on the floor, please. Ah. Number 2. Return to Oz This electrical marvel will make it possible for you to sleep again. And it will also get rid of all those bad waking dreams that you've been telling me about. Whatever possessed Disney to take the 1930s classic The Wizard of Oz and twist it into something dark and disturbing, we'll never know. It's not exactly their brand. However, the vibe is arguably closer to the original books, and the movie has become a cult classic. Where's the scarecrow? And what's happened to the Emerald City? Answer her. After her aunt and uncle dump Dorothy in a psychiatric hospital, she narrowly avoids electric shock treatment and escapes to an Oz that has fallen to evil forces. Anyone who was exposed to Return to Oz as a child will know the terror of the Wheelers and the head-swapping Princess Mombi. Even Dorothy's friends have nightmare potential. Oh, it worked. Here I am. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Alice in Wonderland Lewis Carroll's Alice novels have enchanted readers throughout the years, and it's their weirdness that makes them wonderful. There have been multiple adaptations of the story, each strange, surreal, and nonsensical. Disney's 1951 version is no exception. Well, after this I shall think nothing of, fall of falling down the stairs. From the Caterpillar to the Queen of Hearts, the Mad Hatter to the Cheshire Cat, we know what to expect from Carol's quirky characters, yet every scene still has a strange dreamlike quality that turns reality on its head. Can you stand on your head? Alice in Wonderland is a brightly colored onslaught to the senses, but don't try to make it make sense. You have to embrace the madness. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. Most everyone's mad here. What was the weirdest Disney film you watched as a kid? Tell us your favorites in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.